Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name's Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about meta tags in HTML. So up here in the head of my website, you'll see that I have this meta tag right here. And this is normally a meta tag that's included in most HTML. And it's specifying the char set of my file, right? The character set. But in addition to this meta tag, we can also define other meta tags. And meta tags live in the head of the HTML file, and the head is basically just used to like define information about the file or do some different like configuration with the file. And these meta tags are used for metadata. So metadata is like data about data. So we can use meta tags to define information about this particular web page. I'm gonna show you some of those different meta tags and we'll talk about like how they're used and why they're useful. So I'm gonna make a new meta tag and we're gonna call this one name. So we're gonna give it a name and we're gonna call it description. So this is gonna be the like full on description of our website. And over here, I'm just gonna type content. So this is gonna be the content of the meta tag. And here you could type like your description. And most websites are gonna have a description and this is something that can be used by, for example, a search engine in order to kind of like help to figure out what your website's about. So if you give a good description of what your website's doing, then a search engine could use that information to kind of figure out where your page should sit in like page rankings and stuff like that. And a general rule, people usually would say like maybe 160 characters for a description is like kind of good. Um, you don't want the description to be too long. Like if the description's over, like let's say 200 characters, then most search engines are just kind of gonna ignore it or they might even like penalize you for that in, in like your search ranking. So description is very important. Just make sure you keep it brief. Another meta tag that we can use is for the author. So I can say meta name, and this is gonna be author. And actually, I don't think I closed this tag, yeah. So you can just close all of these like this. And then again, we can just define the content. So this is gonna define like the con or who the author is. So like in our case, it's me. And we can also define some keywords. So this is gonna be keywords and again, content. So the keywords can just be stored in like a comma separated list. So you could say like HTML, you know, tutorial, um, you know, draft academy, stuff like that. So we're just defining this long list of keywords. And again, like the search engine could use those keywords to kind of help index your site. Now, one of the things with this keywords tag is uh, like back in the day, a lot of people would just like shove a bunch of keywords inside of there and then their pages would get like ranked on Google or Yahoo. Um, like artificially. So like all these pages would get ranked. Meanwhile, they had nothing to do with the keywords that were in the keyword tag. So I think probably most search engines at this point just don't even like bother looking at the keywords tag, but it can be good to have in there just in case. And another meta tag that we can use, um, and this one's actually really important, and this controls how your website is displayed on uh, different devices. So we can say name, and it's just called a viewport. And this has a, a couple complicated little options here that we can configure. So we can just say content and you wanna type out basically just this. So it's gonna be width, we're defining the width and device width and then initial scale is equal to 1.0. So this is something that you might see in like HTML files if you're looking at them. And basically what this does is it controls how your website is displayed on different devices. So if you didn't have this in here and you went to look at your website on like a mobile device, then the website would just display as it would on a desktop. So it would display like really zoomed out and really far away. And a lot of times people will design their websites to be to look really good on mobile. So like if you design this website to look really good on a mobile device, if you didn't include this line up in here, then it's possible that the mobile device wouldn't display the website in that mobile view. It would display it like it would on a desktop. So like really zoomed out and it just wouldn't look good. So defining like the width as the device width, so the current device that's looking at it, allows the HTML to kind of like respond to the size of the screen. So this is another important meta tag. So these are some basic meta tags that you can use inside your website. And there's a couple more, you can just do a Google search and kind of find like 
all of the possible meta tags, but I would say these like four or five meta tags are like the most commonly used and the most important for your website. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Drop Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.